this will be the last podcast episode in this house. Crazy. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to another episode of the Dear Friend Podcast. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you are new, hi, I'm Eden. I'm the owner of Yarrow Co., where I sell uh, handmade treasures. I'm also a pattern designer and, well, obviously, podcaster. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as yarrowmail44. You can find my shop at yarrowco.squarespace.com. And you can find me on Lovecrafts and Payhip. So, before we start everything, I would like to announce the giveaway winners. So, I completely forgot to grab the prizes. One sec. The yellow pouch is not here right now. <laughs> there are other cakes. Um, they kind of got put away in the, the um, cleaning up scenario of moving. So, I'll just show you the yarn bowl and I will put a picture of the cakes in here because they're kind of hard to show on camera anyways. So this is Yarn Bowl from the Kitchen Sink Shop and Andrea Nielsen, you are the winner of this Yarn Bowl with the cake and then the other winner for the Notions Pouch and uh, the little cake is Teresa McCarthy. So congratulations, you guys. Um, to claim your prizes, just email me at, who's my stomach growling? My goodness, it is time for a snack. But, um, sorry. <laughs> you can email me at yaronco at outlook.com and just shoot me your mailing address and I will get those out to you as soon as I get um, situated in my new house where shipping will probably be a lot faster and yeah, so congratulations you guys and thank you so much for subscribing and joining in thank you to everyone who joined in and subscribed and commented I enjoyed it so much it always um, makes me so happy when I can talk to you guys in comments and when I see those people who have subscribed, it really boosts my confidence as a podcaster because it is still something that I'm learning and um, just learning the pros and cons and getting used to. So it means a lot to me when you guys do that and show your support. It, it helps me um, keep going and gaining confidence to just sit down in front of this camera and blabber forever. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so got so much. My goodness. Thank you so much for joining in and congratulations. Oh, and this is Darby. Um, he is a deer skull that I rescued from the ocean and uh, my brother who um, edits these podcasts. He always is putting little subtitles there, so if you see a subtitle, that is him just pretending to uh, give his opinion on stuff. So this episode is going to be the last one in this house. My family is moving down to Vancouver Island next week. I am currently on the island of Haida Gwaii, and I have lived here for three years with my family. It has been an amazing experience. It's a beautiful place, um, very rural because it is um, a small island off the coast of BC. It is technically in BC. We can see Alaska from the beach, um, about 15, a 15 minute walk from my house, like a five minute drive. Yeah, so we're very north, but I am moving next week down to Vancouver Island with my family. It is very exciting, um, very, um, not nerve-wracking, but you know, moving is just a lot of work and a lot of change. 
since. So this week has been a lot of prep for moving, um, like getting rid of junk that we don't need, getting donations out, sorting out our stuff. And uh, my room got a complete overhaul. Thank you to my mom who helped me do that. It was in desperate need of cleaning. I am. Um, I'm not a tidy person. I am all over the place, huge klutz, and yeah, it was a disaster, but it's all clean. And I am in front of um, just, this is my side table for my bed where I keep my scraps in this container. This used to be a little greenhouse for succulents. And then they all died because I do not have a green thumb whatsoever. And my books and some projects down on the lower shelf. I am very excited to get situated into a designated podcast spot in the next house. Um, yeah, that will be really cool. So hopefully by the next episode, everything will be situated for the new episode. And yeah. Um, oh, I'll talk about what I'm wearing. I am wearing the Spellman sweater by Tristan of Dragon Horde Yarn. I did not knit this. My mom knit this. She was a test knitter and it turned out I really wanted it. It was so beautiful. So I laid claim to it when it was done and I absolutely love it. I believe the colorway for the mohair and the fingering, it's held double is her Sabrina Hillary? I probably should have asked that before I started, but <laughs> I have talked about this sweater before. It's the Spellman sweater by Tristan of Dragon Horde Yarn. It is so cozy and wonderful. I would love to knit one of my own one day. I'm also sitting on, hang on, since I'm sitting on the floor, I'm sitting on my Squishy Dot pillow by Kate Celine. And I knit this out of a bunch of scraps that I had um, holding it double so it's really marled. And this pattern is knit, like the it's a stockinette pillow, but I turned it inside out just before I was finished to put it on the pearl side and I love it. And it is so squishy and soft and makes the perfect pillow just sitting on the floor. Okay, big thank you to everybody who bought Mystery Clubs and those are all out now to you guys. I will be releasing um, pictures of them at the end of April so I can be sure that nobody's getting spoilers. I had a ton of fun making them. I'm really proud of them. I have been realizing like you know how people say, the more you work on something, the better you get at it? That is very true to any hobby or anything that you do. You gain more confidence and you gain, you learn new skills. I am going through that phase where I'm really trying to um, polish my skills on progress keepers and this these mystery clubs um, really I wanted to put a lot of effort into them a lot of detail and I'm so proud of them and I can't wait for everybody who ordered them to get them and see them so if you missed out that's okay there's gonna be more clubs in July I will be showing them off on the podcast too at the end of April so that I don't spoil anybody. And yeah, so I think that's it for announcements and everything. I have mm, a fair bit of whip done. I did a ton of knitting over Easter weekend. It was really nice to just chill and reboot and refresh. I hope you, you guys had uh, an amazing Easter weekend and that you had a good refresh. We ate a ton of chocolate and it was delicious. 
I, I love Easter. Easter is one of my favorite holidays, probably second to Christmas. Probably. <laughs> I am still a big Christmas freak, you'd probably say. <laughs> so, yeah. So I have one finished object and a bunch of works in progress. Let's just get into that stuff. My little drink for today is an Earl Grey tea with some fancy foam. It is in my massive mug. Shout out to Jamie of Cozy Up Knits with her soup bowl mugs. Uh, this is mine and this is from a local potter here on Haida Gwaii. She does beautiful work. I'll see if I can find a link to her. I don't think she has a website or anything. I think she just sells locally here. We got these at our local coffee shop though. Um, the Ground, just here in town. And it's amazing. I, I'm scared to sit because it was really hot before. Mm. Oh, it's good now. Mm -mm -mm. I'm having an Earl Grey tea in this. I don't know if I said that, but there you go. <laughs> so I have one finished object and that is my holly socks. So this is made out of um, yarn from K Zip Knits. This was her holly sock set. It is uh, on her gold Stellina base. So I don't know if that brings in that gold glitter, but it is so sparkly. And I just did a 64 stitch vanilla sock on size 2.25 millimeter and just knit um, straight up. I did a German short row heel. I did these toe up. <laughs> a mistake I made when I was casting off these socks, I was FaceTiming with my boyfriend and I was just knitting away and I was so excited to cast these off. And then I realized when I, I was doing these magic loops, so I did the first half on the sock, I realized that I was doing the wrong cast off. It was just the regular non-stretchy cast off. I mean, it has a little give, but not an incredible amount. And it's like, oh no. But I made up for it by doing a stretchy cast off on the other half of the sock and they fit fine. There's still a lot of give on there. So that's the fun quirk for these socks. And yeah, it has this really cool pattern. It kind of looks vintagey with those white spots. But these are gonna be my Christmas socks, so they will get put away until December. I might wear them for like Rudy days, but I think these will be like the socks that I pulled out on the first day of Vlogmas this year and just wear them throughout December. I think that'll be really fun. Um, if you want a vanilla sock pattern, I just made this up as I went, but if you want a vanilla sock pattern you can try um, Kajersti's Swanky Socks by Victorious Wool or there is a new pattern just out. This is a free pattern by um, Amy Kate of the Graceful Tangle. She just released her Success Socks, which is a free pattern for a plain vanilla sock, and it is awesome and would do the exact same thing as this. So, yeah, that is my Holly Socks with the yarn from K Zip Knits. I don't know if she has any of this right now, maybe she'll have some closer to the holidays because um, I got this two years ago and I had meant to cast them on for Christmas Eve on Christmas Eve of 2019, maybe? But I cast them on last December for um, Christmas and well, I didn't cast them on on Christmas Eve. I, I cheated just a little bit and cast them on on the 23rd because I was just way too excited. So yeah, those are 
my Christmas socks for next Christmas. And that is my only finished object. But I have some new whips that I'm so excited to show you. Okay, let's get into that. It is an incredibly stormy day out today. It is super dark. Um, I hope this doesn't look too weird with how dark it is, but I don't know, that's okay. It is the typical wet west coast weather. West coast weather. There's a tongue twister for you. But yeah, so works in progress. Let's start with these. I don't know if I had these cast on the last time. I think I talked about it the last time, the last podcast. <laughs> But I cast on another pair of bluegrass socks by Amy Kate of the Graceful Tangle. And I cast them on with, I'm in the middle of a row. I cast them on with um, Mondim yarn. So here they are, they're just little cuffs right now. But it is this super cool pattern with this yarn. Sorry, my mic is right here, so I'm trying not to knock you over and make a loud bang. <laughs> so it is this super cute ribbed pattern. Um, ooh, I'm doing these two at a time. Also, I've got my little, little cookie charm. These are in the shop right now. There's a little star cookie. It goes great with this yarn. So this is Mondim yarn. It is I made this mistake last time. I'm going I'm so sorry. I said this was French yarn. This is Portuguese yarn. It is a hundred percent Portuguese yarn, which is so cool. Um I would really love to go to Portugal one day, and it is my goal to visit this yarn shop. So let's get the so this is Mundim yarn. It is, a lot of this is in Portuguese. I intend to learn Portuguese at some point, as soon as I learn how to speak English properly. So it is 100% Portuguese wool, um, 421 yards. And this is the colorway, color number 207. Uh, so yeah, it's got these turquoise speckles, pink speckles, and then um, it's got a little, it's kind of like a purpley black, like a, I keep wanting to say grape soda purple with black, <laughs> if that makes sense. It is really soft and feels really sturdy, if that makes make sense. Like sturdy has a feeling. And this is very sturdy. It's nice and soft. And the colors, oh, I just love these. These are kind of like my go-to vanilla sock pattern. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is cracking. Um, yeah, these are gonna be like, when I don't really want to think about anything, these are gonna be my go-to project. Definitely gonna be in the Sorry, there's wind shaking my door. I'm definitely gonna be taking these on the trip. And I'm just keeping these in my Harry Potter bag. This is a bag I got at a craft fair from a local maker. I don't remember her name, but she makes, these were intended to be makeup bags, but I turned it into a project bag. And I added this pin, which is the Harry Potter prophecy. And attached, I have um, this thing from the Impossible Knot yarn shop in Hundred Mile House, BC. I used to live there, and <laughs> this yarn shop came out um, a little while after we left, which is sad because I really want to go there. But it's got the Kitchener stitch on the back and some needle gauges, which is awesome. I, it's a very lucky thing. I love it. So yeah, so that is in there. And then my next works in progress are in 
this bag down here. This is a brand new bag that I got for Easter. My mom and I like to get new project bags for every Easter and call them our Easter baskets. So this is my new um, project bag from Hey Sister. Oh, there we go. From Hey Sister. And they do such cool bags and have these really neat fabrics. So this one is a bunch of mushrooms. I'm not gonna knock you over. So there's a bunch of different mushrooms and their names. Some of them are funny. This puffball guy is my favorite because he is a puffball mushroom and he just says poof. <laughs> Which just shows my childlike humor and that is extremely funny to me. And also like back here are these mushrooms, they're red stink horns and they say we stink. <laughs> Which is just, it's funny to me and I love this bag. But it has two sock projects in there. They're the same pattern. This is a new design that I'm working on. I don't want to keep it a secret from you guys. So here is the design going. It is another sock design. I am thinking I'm going to call these um, interlocked paths because this is an interlocked rings cable. So it doesn't look like rings until you like, whoop, stretch it out. It looks like rings. And uh, I did these, well, I did this one um, over Easter weekend. I could not put it down. I love cables because they keep you interested. You, you just keep working because you're like, oh, one more row. I wanna see how this works up and so See if I can get a good image without me in it. So this is the interlocking rings. So this will be the interlocking paths. It's got a little bit of color work with those stars on there. And this will be a pattern released somewhat soon. I don't know, probably by, I'm gonna say the end of June, maybe. We'll see how it goes because I have to finish a pair of these and I have this is doing the single sock I should talk about these needles too and the yarn I'm too excited about these I can't keep up with how much information to give so the needles I'm gonna talk about next on this project because this is a brand new style for me these are the Addy Crazy Trio shorts and these are on size zero millimeter, which is size two US. And these are from Addy. And this is something new that I tried. I saw this on the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. And so what they are, here's my other one, is if Magic Loop and DPNs got together and had a knitting child, this would be it. That's a weird way to put it, but basically it's DPNs and Magic Loop put together. Maybe like nine inch circulars almost, but it's a good middle ground. So but there are two needles on there for each side and then there is one working needle and you just do the same thing you would do with DPNs. And I've been really liking it. I was a little worried in how that was gonna be, I don't know, how it was gonna feel working with it, but I really enjoyed it and it went well with cable working as well. My cables are a bit tight, but that was on me because I was um, nervous working them up. I didn't wanna mess up at all, but it went pretty well and I'm loving it. And the yarn, Right here, this is Rooster from Enchanted Knits. She is not dying at the moment, but I got this last year and I had to have this yarn because I have a fear of roosters. When I was a kid, we used to have chickens and there was this rooster that was a complete maniac and would try and peck at you. And one day he chased me and my brother in like, full feathers flying and 
screeching. It was terrifying. Now that I'm older, I realize that it probably wasn't as scary, but maybe it's because I'm taller now. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad, but oh well. So Rooster from Enchanted Knits. It is such a cool colorway with reds, yellows, and greens. It goes really well. This is a mini from Hey Sister Yarn Co. in their rose gold. It doesn't, that's more of the true color. It's a little bit deeper um, than when I bring it up close. The light kind of blurs it out, but yeah. It is such a good pairing. And then I'm working on another pair, but these are gonna be for my boyfriend and I'm doing this, I'm doing a lot of knitting for him lately. I just realized that, but I love doing it. And this is David Bowie from um, Black Cat Yarn Company. They are a Canadian uh, dyer here in BC. I believe they're located in Chilliwack, I believe. And yeah, so this is David Bowie. I'm a big David Bowie fan, so. I got this years ago to make something special out of it. And this is a cake progress keeper that I made. This was one of the first things I ever made when I started making progress keepers to sell. So it's just a little red ombre cake. I would love to make some more and like compare from now um, and then. And these are also on size 2 US 0 millimeter. It's a great fabric when um, using smaller needles. I really like using size zeros on socks that um, I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of because the thicker fabric feels like it's going to last a little bit longer. It's going to be a little sturdier. So. This is in the bigger size. It's gonna come in three sizes, so I'm making him the size large, and this is a size medium for me, and then there is going to be a smaller size for smaller footed people. I, I don't know how else to put that. But yeah, I'm doing his two at a time, and that's all being kept in here. Oh, and the cables. Cables. So this and the stars for these socks, such a mess right now, sorry, is going to be in bright orange. It's going to look so cool. And this is a little extra mini from Kate Celine. Um, when I had ordered yarn from her, she threw in um, this extra mini and all her minis come in 10 grams, so she sent two extra 10 gram minis in this bright orange, and it's so cool. It was the perfect pairing. As soon as like I had opened the package and saw these extra minis, I was like, these two go together. <laughs> and yeah, so that is a super, I say super exciting, way too much, but this is going to be an amazing project. I can't wait to get that pattern out to you guys because it's another thing that I'm really proud of. I feel like this is something I'm stepping out of my comfort zone because so far when I make things it's slightly simpler so I really wanted to do something a little bit fancier and so that is what I'm trying. So yeah, don't expect those anytime soon though, because it's going to take a while <laughs> to get all of them done. But hopefully by the time I finish, at least by the time I'm done one of my socks and my boyfriend's socks, I can start writing up the pattern and get it tested. So my last work in progress I started the hat 
for my boyfriend. This is the Muscle Burr hat by Yuzulda. And he looks like a little, a little mushroom cap right now. A little fancy cap. <laughs> and let's see if I have a picture here I can show you. It's a little beat up now. But there it is. It is a hat that you knit double layered. So you just cast on and do your increases from the center at the top. And then you just knit this super long tube and then do the same decreases on the other end. And it creates a really cool hat. The yarn is Snow Day from um, Ruby and Roses yarn. And it is on her Stellina base. So it has a little sparkle to it. I had asked my boyfriend before I cast this on, like, would you wear a sparkly hat? He's like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so this is what we are working with. I am loving it. I had a little trouble figuring out casting on it. It's not the pattern's fault whatsoever. It was just me making uh, mistakes as I do. But so my mom helped me cast on and I am really grateful for that. She got me started on the increases on this. And before when I had been messing up, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to hold it double and crochet a d'artagnan duke which was a good idea when it started but then i didn't think about the fact that holding it double you half the amount of yardage like that it's obvious but in the moment i wasn't thinking about that i was too excited about the yarn and to get started on this hat so i got about halfway through the hat and then realized that there is not enough yardage on here. The D'Artagnan Tuke requires about 280 yards of um, DK weight yarn. So for this, it was about 210 yards. Um, so that was not nearly enough. So I learned my lesson and stayed up till about midnight undoing this hat because undoing something held double is really hard and but it is definitely a labor of love to get this oh, sorry on track but it is on track and I have about a week and a half to finish this before I see him next week yeah next week next weekend not this weekend next weekend Oh my goodness, but next weekend. And yeah, so that is the challenge. And I have, this used to be a necklace. It used to be this necklace right here of my little Captain America pendant here. And then I have his mask as a stitch marker, which goes really well with this yarn. I'm a big Marvel fan, huge Marvel fan, so to throw in a little, something a little geeky in there. It's pretty fun. And I'm knitting these. Sorry. I get so off track. <laughs> I'm knitting these on size 2.75 millimeter. I don't know what that is in US. I'd probably say my DPN size 2 um, US. And these are just the DPNs I used to um, do the increases, my Chiagu DPNs. I love these. I love Chiagu needles. So that is all being kept in one of my cinch bags. Um, there's a bunch of these in the shop right now. It is perfect for this hat. So I got my pattern, my DPNs, um, my skein, and the hat in there. And it all fits perfectly with quite a bit of extra room without having it all squished together. So that is really nice. And that is being kept in my big old basket here. And this is the hat. Um, and my bluegrass socks are what I'm going to take on the trip. And those will probably get the most um, progress done on them 
that you'll see in the next episode. Hopefully that hat will be done. So yeah, that is all my works in progress, what I'm working on right now. Um, I am also just dipping my, my toes in to a crochet project. I really want to crochet a summer top because I am built as a winter person. 90% of my closet is hoodies and sweaters. And so with summer somewhat coming, um, I am very unprepared. I don't like warmth. I that sounds bad. I don't like warm weather. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't mind it. I love sunshine. But I'm not like a hot summer weather person because I would rather have it be super chilly and bundle up in a sweater or a blanket and get all cozy. And so I'm a winter and fall girl. But um, it'd be nice to have some more summery makes to wear this year. Yeah, so those are kind of my future plans. And I think that is everything. My phone is about to die. Uh oh, so that is a good time to say uh, till next time. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonder filled day and I will talk to you next time, dear friends time in a whole new setup. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, um, do subscribe and hit that like button. And yeah, so thank you so much. I will see you next time, dear friends.